Good morning, everyone. Today is September 3rd, 2020, and I just want to do a vlog and talk about some of the things that I've been up to. I guess some of you noticed that I've disappeared for a while. Nothing's wrong, but, uh, per se. We'll talk about that, but, um, yeah. So, why don't I start you guys off with a morning cup of coffee with me. And one of the things that my husband, Chris, did that I never would have thought of, and we've been doing this a long time, is that we mix the coffee flavors. I used to just, you know, buy the the flavors like this and put one in, you know. But he likes to mix things, and I have found out that this that this coffee house and black silk is delicious. I think so anyways. So that's what I'm going to make now. Okay, that should be good. And then I'll add creamer and stuff to it once it's done. So while the coffee's brewing, I've got you guys outside here. And uh, plant-wise, things are going pretty well. I've been repotting Nepenthes and Hoyas. There was an orchid over here. This is one of the ones I bought a few months ago that I did an unboxing for that were unknowns. I just ordered mini orchids, but they've gotten pretty big. And I was talking with uh, Fernanda about this, that the roots have grown. I can't tell which one owns the root, if it's this one going into this pot or the other way around. But I am looking forward to finding out what these buds are going to be when they open, because I bought three unknown colors. So that should be exciting. And a lot of stuff is already going dormant. Uh, my lotuses, I'm not going to show them, they look terrible right now. They uh, came up early and bloomed, and then I guess they're going dormant early because they came out early. Okay, here are my vanilla orchids, or one of the set of them anyways. Uh, vanilla Ventures, I was speaking with you today about this, and uh, it looks like my normal uh, vanilla has come up. And so has this other one. What are the types that we have here? Let's see. So the one in the foreground, this one is Vanilla Plantifolia. Uh, I'm going to have to clip that up here and train it up the uh, cage. And then the other one, I'm going to put a subtitle because I forgot what kind of vanilla it is. And this is the other one that has not done anything. It's a different species and it's still green. I don't know if it's made root. It's got three. It's got one right there. It's got another plant right there, and it's got a third plant. Though this one looks like it's rotting. That one, I don't think will make it, but it hasn't done anything. So these two are doing great, but I don't know what's wrong with this one. I hope it'll make new growth, but it hasn't done anything since I potted it up in here months ago. These kinds of orchids are doing very well for me. They've been making new roots, which is great. Especially this one, which is the um, Rhynchostylus retusa, has never done well for me. But this year, it's putting out lots of roots. I did a lot of fertilizing earlier in the year. That might be why. And it's bounced back. It's making new leaves. And last year, it flowered for me. But uh, I think it's made a great recovery, although I quit fertilizing partway through the year. I just was too busy with other things. So, different kinds, but all doing well because this has been the year for root growth. And that makes me happy because the roots are the most important part of the plant. I think it was Brad's greenhouse that said roots first, then leaves. And then flowers are the icing on the cake if you get any. But you want to make sure your roots are good first, then your leaves, then you get flowers. Here we are at the cactus collection, and we've got um, Mammillaria plumosa is flowering for me. This one, and possibly this one, I think I see stuff in there. Again, this one is flowering earlier. Last year it flowered in winter around January. 
So we're in September. Everything's been early this year. I don't know why. Here's part of my new growing aloe collection. I plan to do a video on aloes on their own pretty soon because I've gotten some neat specimens. And here are some of my cactus. Just a quick overview. Here are some of my uh, astrophytums. These are the ones that we unboxed that are supposed to get red flowers. Hopefully they will. Here are some nudums in the shade because they weren't happy to be getting so much sunlight. I might bring these guys in. And here are some Nepenthes that have been repotted. So the coffee is probably done by now. Let's go check it out. This is my favorite creamer. Oh, wow. Ever since I discovered the stuff in the gas stations, in those little tiny cups, I was happy when Chris found this giant bottle. It is so good. Okay, so here we go for the vlog. My birds are all doing great. That's Emma up there, and then there's Nautica and Nitro. And they have a new toy. I was gonna make a video about that, but they haven't cooperated much. But it looks like they're finally playing with it. They were so afraid when I brought this home. <laughs> and here's Minion. And Whitey, Miss Talking Girl. So, birds are fun to play with. The three teenagers, or as I should call them, the Spangled Bunch, are very sweet budgies. They're very friendly. Emma's deciding to add commentary now. And, uh, so, uh, just an overview. How has 2020 treated us? Chris and I have been very blessed. We've done very well this year. Um, this pandemic hasn't really affected us. Life has gone in as usual. The problems that we've had are the problems that we would have had in any other normal year. Uh, the, the worst things being that I've got physical problems, issues, uh, the same ones I've always had. I've got joint pains and back pains and a few other things that are annoying. Uh, I have a hard time sleeping at night because my joints flare up and things and but it's okay I deal with it I go on life goes on I don't let it get me down <laughs> and uh as far as work goes again we thank the lord that we've been working non-stop in fact it seems like this year we've gotten a lot more jobs <laughs> Poor Chris, he gets tired, but we're going to keep at it because, uh, you know, it's unfortunate so many other people have lost their jobs this year through this stupid pandemic. And, uh, as we told you guys in the video on the Don't Be Afraid, you know, we're Christians and we're conservatives, and so we're going to do our part to support President Trump because we support life and prosperity and good things the other side there's nothing good on the other side so if you guys are agreeing with us and fellow christians please do your part um videos by amir sarfati explain everything very well uh, i will put a link to his channel and you guys can check it out because he does really cool current events updates okay and yesterday, well, not yesterday, but a few days ago, Chris bought me a gift that I'm going to do an unboxing for, but you guys get a preview of it here. I was very happy about this. Now, of course, I already have the, uh, the, the two characters here, Ellie and, and uh, Hammond, but I don't have the raptors. This is the scene from the, uh, the kitchen. Minion, hush. So I was happy about that. As far as YouTube goes, I, I'm sorry I haven't been too active. I just haven't felt like being on YouTube and making videos, and so I haven't done too much. And the worst thing is, I'm sorry I haven't been commenting to you guys, but I have been watching your videos, 
and I am hoping that I will get better about that and get back into commenting because comments are more important than anything else. And I have one friend that was like, I'm sorry I haven't posted, but she was replying and commenting to me, so I don't care. To me, the fact that communication is still there, that's the most important things. If you wanna, guys wanna drop me a line even though I haven't even posted anything just to say hi, that's fine by me. I love comments and conversations. It really is the most important aspect of YouTube. And with YouTube being an evil organization, notice that that's the aspect that they downplay and don't care about and don't promote. So, yeah, I've got a lot of videos that I'm super backed up on. There's a lot of not just plant stuff, also bird stuff. I've got pic uh, videos of budgies playing with toys and being silly that just haven't uploaded. It's all backed up. And <laughs> the worst thing, I think, is the driving videos are so backed up. I am still on February of this year. And those are the second most difficult videos for me to make other than Minion talking. Because he's talking too much right now. Minion, be quiet! <laughs> and I have to get him a new microphone. The old one is pretty much done and broken. It's been chewed up and destroyed. And I was really disappointed that the other day I thought I had filmed him saying his new words and amazing things. Uh, you guys are going to get a little spoilers and previews for everything in this vlog. Um, we are working on Lion King and he is learning to say, I just can't wait to be king and I'm going to be a mighty king. And he's learned almost all of that already. But here's his mic. And he chews on it and he feeds it and then the other budgies have gotten a hold of it and unfortunately you can see there the wires are chipped and there's a lot more of these uh chipped and chewed up wires and it just didn't work so he said all this amazing stuff in front of his little mic he loves his mic he knows what it is right Minnie? you gonna talk to the mic interview with the budgie so but it didn't pick it up it was so quiet you couldn't hear anything so I had four videos, and all of them are no good. So I was very, very upset about that. When stuff like that happens, you just don't feel like making a new one and trying again. And we just need new equipment. So we'll get him a new mic, hopefully soon. Hopefully at least two, so we can catch him on both sides of the cage. And artwork, I have... Also not felt like doing much art lately. I am once again behind on my bullet journal. Um, and I hope to make a video to talk about what I've been doing to be able to keep up with logging stuff when I'm not working on the art for that. But digital art has also been going very slow. But here are two of the projects I'm working on. I am designing what my character Rip Talon, the cybernetic raptor here on the left, looks like. And this is probably not his final design. There's things I like about him and things I don't like. So I'm still working on it. I'm going to be changing things up. And the drawing on the right is called Crawling from Hell, which is an old drawing I made years ago that was amazing, but it has flaws from the start that I never liked. So it's going to get reworked and fixed and improved, hopefully. Those of you that follow me on LiveJournal know I have revamped an old drawing. Here is the updated version of Dawn of Fear, and this has turned out amazing. This is the cover of the story of Fear's origin, which I also still have to draw. You guys see a pattern here. But, uh, so yeah, main change was that he used to have a black mouth, and I drew this back when I had recently designed Fear. And I hadn't figured out exactly what he looked like. And then I decided that a green mouth was better because he already has black skin. Why black mouth? He wouldn't see anything. And this looks so cool. And two of his brothers, life and death on him. And the origin of the story of them being life ancients. So that is done. And I also use this as my background on my solitaire games, which looks really amazing. 